Oh, hey, you just caught me having a coffee and reading a book. Actually, it's a book I want to share with you. Stick around. Hey, welcome back to The First Layer. My name is Richard. I'm your host here every Saturday morning and live stream Sunday afternoon when I do my show, Ask for Help, which is uh, a show that allows you to get your answers for 3D printing. Now, what is this show all about? Well, if you're new here, this is a show that teaches you the world of 3D printing. And that's no different because today is a topic that uh, we don't do a lot of. We don't do a lot of book reviews here on the show, but this time I want to share with you a book by Natalie Guzman. It just came out. It's available on Amazon all over the world. Uh, it can be downloaded to your Kindle or to your tablet, uh, whichever you like, and uh, or whatever medium you read on. And I want to share with you uh, the book cover right now. It's called 3D Printing Made Easy for Newbies and Hobbyists, a quick start guide to learn how to 3D print at home by Natalie Guzman. Now, this book, just so you guys know, this is dedicated not to those in the audience that are experienced 3D printers, but it's a great little manual if you've just bought your 3D printer and you're, or you're looking to buy a 3D printer. As we go through some of the pages here, I'm going to share with you the some of the pages, not all of the book, but I'm going to share some of it and my thoughts on the book. So let's dive into the book right now. So let's have a quick peek at the book. We'll just kind of turn the page here and we can see all the copyright information. This is where you want to start, is right here at the table of contents. Now you have an introduction, which is a very good introduction by Natalie. It kind of sets you up for the rest of the book, which I think is a great way to start things. And then she goes into... 3D printing, what you need to know. And what you need to know about 3D printing is a great place to start if you're brand new to the hobby. Then she goes into 3D printer models uh, that you should look into. And the 3D printer models that she's talking about are all readily available. There's the Anycubic in there. There's printers from Creality. Uh, there's a couple others in there that uh, I think are great for you. She breaks down the different types of printers Cartesian, uh, Core XY, Delta, and that sort of thing. So it really is a good, clean, clear explanation, more so than what I do on the show half the time. Uh, but let's take a look at the first, the first chapter here. And if you look at the first chapter, you can see what is 3D printing. And then there's a definition of it. And it really, again, I think this is where people need to start when you are looking into 3D printing. Because as we move forward, and I've said this many times before on several other episodes, that if you're just getting into the hobby and you're just not sure where to start, well, now you have a resource other than going through all of the different uh, websites and, and message boards and things like that. You can now pick up this book off of Amazon, both for your Kindle and in a paperback version. The paperback version is only $12.99 in Canada. And uh, the Kindle version, I think, is like $1.25. Like, it's really, really cheap. If you have Kindle Unlimited like I do, you can get the book for free. Now, Natalie did send this book to me uh, a few months ago, as a matter of fact. But she's made some revisions since I initially read the book. And she goes into a little bit of history as well uh, about what, uh, what takes place in 3D printing. Here she's talking a little bit about FDM. Um, you can see she's got some prints down here, a uh, photo of some prints. It's got a lot of different resources in it as well. Um, there are little clickable links that you can go to. Uh, and if we go back one page, I just want to go back. You can see right here where it says, get it right in three steps. Choose the right printer, choose the right material, and choose the right accessory. And as I've always said in the past, you never want to um, go and buy a new printer and then spend tons and tons of money on things that you don't need. And this book really proves my point. Get, you, get used to using that brand new printer, if you, especially if you're brand new to 3D printing. Get used to using that printer. Make sure you have the right accessories available to you, that they're easy to find, whether you get them online or you get them from a local retailer. Now, 
pre 3d print models uh this is chapter two um this is going to talk a little bit about the different 3d printers that are out there uh and what she recommends uh for somebody new getting into the hobby material compatibility support fdm uh so on and so forth uh easy, easiest to use there's the prusa i3 in there she talks a little about the ender pro um top must have 3d printer accessories now we've talked about this a lot on the show over the years and she has a whole chapter just dedicated to that so i really want you to if you're new to it get this book um let's go down a little bit further into the book uh picking printing material this is a question i get a lot how do I pick my printing material? Well, first and foremost, I want everybody to start with PLA because it's the simplest to use. It's not as durable as some of the other uh, printing filaments out there, but PLA is where I would suggest you start. And she suggests the same thing here. Um, now, going through this a little bit more, there's pros and cons to the different ones that she's talking about. Uh, PETG, ABS, ASA, she covers them all right down to PVA hip. Um, nylons are in there, composite printing materials, wood, metal, uh, you name it, it's all in here. I'm, I know I'm going through this pretty fast, but there's a few things that I want to cover. Now, 3D printing software, what's the best 3D printing software to get? And you guys know that I'm going to tell you straight up, start with Cura because it is the easiest to get to know and get to use. And most 3D printers today come with a version of Cura usually. Um, it's very rare that they don't. So as we keep moving through here a little bit, uh, you can see that she's talking about different infills here, which is a really good uh, idea. Um, so she covers all the bases. Hey, there's a Benchy. Um, now, first print, easy step-by-step -step instructions to get that first print. And again, I've taught this, we've gone through this, and I've talked about it not only in classes that I've conducted on 3D printing, but also uh, here on the show. And she covers it step by step, and I couldn't have done it better myself. Um, she actually gets really concise and really to the point and very easy to understand. Very easy to, you know, overcome problems like this. Her book covers little things like that. Uh, common 3D printing mistakes. Things that we do, not, here's a, a great example, mistake number one, not getting serious about that first layer. And that's why we called our show the first layer, because it is serious that that become your foundation for what you're building on. Uh, not doing test prints. And you heard me talk about that a lot. So things that she's covering in this book, and I had nothing to do with this book, just so you guys know, but it's everything that I talk about here on the show and in our live streams. You know, why do you want to do these things? Because they are important. Um, now I'm looking at this on the PC. So ignoring the printer while it's in use. Do not ignore your printer while it's in use. Because then you can come and have a lot of different problems. Uh, the conclusion of the book. Let me go back one here. So uh, in conclusion, she's covered just about everything. All the steps for your first print. 10 common 3D printing mistakes. And again, it is a full service book. And I highly recommend this book to anybody that is uh, looking at getting this book. Let's go back to the cover here. Um, anybody that's serious about 3D printing and is serious about starting the hobby, this is one of those hobbies where you can get frustrated very fast and very quickly. And I have a few clients that are like that. And then I have clients on the other end of the spectrum that get into it and figure they know it all before they even turn that first bolt and put their printer together and quickly find out that this is a little bit more uh, of a challenge than they, they realize. So do I recommend Natalie Guzman's book for a beginner? Absolutely. Do I recommend it for an experienced person? Absolutely. I do put it in your library, put it into your tablet, put it into your phone, whatever you read books on. If you want a hard copy of it, Order the paperback off of Amazon. I'm going to leave links to those down in the description below so that uh, you guys will be able to go and have a look at this book for yourself. Now, today's video is not very long, but I really, really enjoyed this book. It's definitely a five hot ends out of five hot ends for me um, because it's everything that I cover in my classes. 
And it is things that I think, you know, sometimes we need to be reminded of. And if we can't figure it out ourselves, at least we'd have a resource to go back to. So with that said, I want to thank you all for joining me today. If you did get something out of today's uh, episode, let me just uh, change this. There we go. If you got something out of today's episode, I'd really like you to leave me a comment down below. Hit that like button because it really goes ahead and and helps us out with our our metrics here on YouTube. Uh, Also, if you are new here, subscribe and hit that bell because hitting that bell is a important thing for you. So you get notified every time I'm doing a live stream and every time that uh, we are releasing a brand new video. Now, with that said, you guys have yourselves a great weekend. I'm going to see you again on Sunday for Ask for Help, our live stream at 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And remember that the first layer is always your foundation to a great friend. I'll see you next time.